for me, painting murals is like, it's freeing. Like when you're a child and you go and you use crayons on the wall, like you're not thinking about, oh, I'm gonna get in trouble or I have these limits, you know, you're just, all of your creativity is kind of exploding. There's nobody that doesn't want murals on campus. Everybody that I propose it to, um, all the artists that we asked to get involved, everybody wanted to do it. Billy walked in and he told me that there was this one design that I did that the staff loved and they wanted to turn it into a mural and I was like, oh really, no way, that's actually pretty cool and then he kind of like started pushing it along. I've done one mural before on campus and with this mural, the, my professor reached out to me and uh, asked if I could come back. I actually started doing them my junior year here, like just on my wall in my studio and stuff, and then it's kind of just grown. I did one for like our BFA show. And I knew that this is something that they were interested in as part of their creative career in the long term. There's a lot to learn in that process. I think that overcoming those challenges and painting on a textured surface on that scale is, uh, is difficult. Actually, this is the first mural I've ever painted. I have painted a wall. <laughs> I've painted walls at my old apartment before. I've not painted a mural before, no. It's my first time. It's a lot more difficult than I was expecting. Uh, also, because it's on brick this time, we put a, primer, a couple of coats of a primer on top, so that helped with um, how porous the brick is originally. But it's still difficult. There's so many different grooves and the brick and not to mention it's completely vertical and it's like very tall so uh, painting like this I'm not very used to. It's called Cropped Feelings and it's um, it says it's a six word memoir so it says cropping my feelings to a five by seven and it's literally going to be five by seven inches big the words on this huge wall. In my work uh, the giant eyes kind of like represent anxiety and for me personally social anxiety and since all of my art is about like communication and my struggles with that. The mural that I'm doing it is kind of it has like hidden imagery in it. Um, there's definitely like erotic sort of shapes and stuff you have to kind of like an I spy you sort of have to like look and pick them out. Um, and that's sort of my goal, like I want to create these big pieces where people are forced to kind of look at them and spend time with them and start to see those things. There are like passages and holes that you can kind of, you feel like you might want to explore. And for me, when I first started here at SAGE, the second I walked through the doors and I was introduced to the professors and, and the community, I felt like there were so many more opportunities for me here. And so I wanted to represent what it's like to kind of go through something that might be unusual or scary at first, but you end up finding something really great and wonderful. Every time I come in, I get to see uh, progress on the wall. It's pretty awesome. It's kind of cool, like having everyone here coming in and out of the room, working on their own things, and just seeing all these uh, beautiful murals come together. Although we have a decent amount of space in between us, and our murals, it feels like we're kind of all working together on the same one. Uh, we all have very different styles too, but it, it does feel like we're all in it together.